Hey Gemini, this is Alicia with Twisted Tarot, here to do your March 2019 Twin Flame Tarot reading. Thank you everyone for all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments. Uh, you have shown so much love for my channel since I started. It's been an amazing journey, so thank you so, so much. Um, I'm so glad to have shared it with you, and you guys sharing it with me is amazing, and I hope that um, I'm able to make a difference, because um, above all, for, first and foremost, um, I do this to help, not, you know, yes, it is a business, but it's also, it's also to help people, so um, mainly, that's the main thing, so um, thank you guys so much. Um, anyways, um, this is a general reading, guys, so it may or may not resonate, take what does, leave the rest. Um, if I'm not the tarot reader for you, don't worry, there's tons of good ones on here, um, I'm sure you can find somebody who's amazing. Um, just a little background about me. I'm an Aries Pisces. Um, I'm a cusp. I was born on the first day of spring and on March 20th. And, um, so what the way I kind of read is even based on that, um, astrologically. So I'm going to be pretty blunt, forthright. Um, I don't mess around. The cards don't mess around. I'm going to interpret them the way that I see them, um, the way I feel them. So I'm an intuitive reader. So for most, most of you that um, watch me, you already know that. But if you're new, so welcome. Um, what that means is if you see a traditional tarot card and I say something slightly different or I don't say anything related to the traditional tarot, just know that intuitively I'm being um, guided to express a different message for you guys. So um, that happens player sentient, player audience, all the things. So, um, and also there's so many ways to learn tarot. So many readers out there, they do it their own way. They have their own style. This is my style. Um, I hope you like it. Um, but, um, if you need a personal reading from me, I don't just do twin flames. I can do anything. So, um, general love, um, general anything, just whatever the cards when I tell you, you name it. Um, the link is in the description box below if you'd like to book me, uh, for a private reading. If you don't have Facebook, that's okay. There is a link to my Gmail, um, and you can email me there at uh, twistedtarot at gmail.com, and I can give you all my rates, rates and information and answer any questions you have there. Uh, what else? Um, if the roles are reversed, take it that way. So I'm pulling in a lot of energy, so that's going to come through, um, especially with Twin Flames. Um, I highly recommend watching both the videos, guys, because you can get so much information about you and your twin just because you intertwine because of the way that your souls are technically split so um from one soul so you're gonna have information that probably pops out um here and there it may be fully your, your you and then your twin etc it could flip completely it could be little pieces so keep that in mind this also could yes i'm saying march but I'm a very complex or complicated reader. So what that means is my information could be your past, present, or your future. Um, they give me whatever they want. <laughs> I tell them the time frame. They know when we're doing it. They know what I'm doing. Um, but again, sometimes those messages um, apply for, you know, and it could be a progression. I kind of feel like the way that I read and I like that is a progression. So we start here. We go into the heart of the matter and we come out here. So hopefully that gives you a really good idea of um, the progression of the next couple months or the next six months, you know, etc. A couple weeks <laughs> sometimes. All right, so we're going to chime my chime and get into my reading. So we will uh, clear out the energy in the room. If you're wearing headphones, I don't know how loud it is. It could get pretty loud, so I would take them off just in case. It's like a baby one. Oh yeah, let me sage it up in here. I know I'm gonna do this before the reading, so I don't actually show you on camera, but I'm gonna sage the area. So I got a little of my coffee. <laughs> All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, these are astrological cards. Spirit helps me take two. Um, if your twin sign does not come out, this doesn't mean that this reading can't be for you. Um, it is general. So any of the signs can pop out um, throughout the whole entire reading. Um, sometimes it is the way your planets are aligned or the way your twin or the person that comes out in the reading, their planets may be aligned. Um, also, uh, what else was I going to say? There was something else. I'm sorry, before I start. Gosh, I totally can't remember. Okay. Anyways, if I remember, I'll let y'all, y'all know. Okay. Let's see Gemini. Who is Gemini dealing with? 
We have Aquarius. Who is Gemini's twin? Who's Gemini's twin? Okay, and this may be a very uh, interesting reading uh, considering those two signs. Um, the last reading I did for Libra was really interesting, so if you are a Scorpio or Pisces, you might want to watch that one too, um, especially if you, if you have a lot of Libra in your chart. I have three planets um, in mine, and it made sense. So um, if you've got Libra in there, um, I don't know what planets exactly, but I just know that I have three of them in there. I can't remember right now, but, um, I don't want to recommend one specifically for you guys because I'm not sure, um, what planet, it may be Jupiter. Okay. But, um, so anyways, not relevant. Um, the Pisces, so if you're a Pisces, I would definitely watch that video. Um, the Libra video, if you have Libra in your chart, because it made a lot of sense. Um, well, it actually was <laughs> the... Um, Libra side made pretty good sense, but then when we got to the twin side, there was so much emotion with a Scorpio and a Pisces going on there, possibly, you know, for the signs coming out that it just got very confusing, very dreamy, very, a lot of people coming out there. So <laughs> anyways, all right, let's get into your reading here. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius, or they might have those planets in their chart, excuse me, those astrological signs in their planets in their chart somewhere. All right, mutual energy between you and your twin is the Hierophant reversed. Okay, so for a lot of you, it is, um, maybe there's a spirituality um, of, about this connection. Maybe something's lacking spiritually or some spiritual understanding of this connection. Could also be for some of you, um, you may have gotten divorced because the Hierophant talks about um, relationships and commitment. Okay. It talks about spirituality, religion, those types of things, but it does talk about in the basis of it, um, those type, that type of energy. Um, also Taurian energy here with the Hierophant. So it could be dealing with a Taurus. So I'm feeling like here that there's definitely some type of enlightenment that's either come up, that's either come about, um, or needs to come about in this commitment to kind of turn it upright. Um, it could be that, um, you guys broke up. Okay. Um, it could also just be that there's more to learn here, okay, about this connection. Um, there's more steps that need to be taken before full commitment becomes possible for some of you too. So take it how it resonates for your situation. Um, I clarify all of the tarot cards at the end. Um, so stay tuned here and I'll kind of um, get to that shortly um, when we're all done with this side. We have Don Juan and it's reversed, okay. So we're going to take the shadow attribute using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. Okay. So there may be something a little bit, uh, manipulative about how you could be approaching a situation. It could be your twin. Um, so you may be kind of flirting, um, or using your attraction, um, to kind of get what you want. Um, so, <laughs> Uh, it doesn't speak highly of, you know, your seductive qualities. It kind of kind of puts a, a negative spin on them. So if you're kind of wanting to get into the positive side of it, you want to spotlight your positive seductive qualities, such as your personality um, and other things. Um, maybe you don't feel good about yourself and you're lacking confidence. So maybe you're thinking like the person that you, you're interested in or your twin or whatever isn't going to like who you really are. But I'm feeling like that's not the case. So you may be hiding behind um, uh, your like seductive qualities um, to kind of lure this person in. Mm. Okay, guys. Uh, next card is create healthy patterns and relationships. Connect with the sweetness of life. Maintain heart-centered awareness. Get to the heart of the matter. So heart chakra uh, meditation might be needed for some of you, especially if you're in that negative attribute of the Don Juan up there. Um, I would definitely 
um, be looking into this stone, this might help. And again, meditations for the heart chakra to help um, create healthy patterns into your life, into your life. create um, an openness to love and compassion and giving and receiving on a very <clears throat> unconditional basis. Okay. And you can do that with malachite. So it says, I recognize repetitive patterns and choose love, compassion, and kindness. Yeah. So there may be some repetitive patterns here. Um, you could also be, uh, you could also be manipulating multiple women with that Don Juan. We know what Don Juan, Juan means. It means he's got Sally over here and he's got, um, you know, Jessica over there, whatever, like, you know, trying to play him, you know, between the two of them, whatever. I'm just throwing out names here, guys. So, yeah, that type of energy is um, it's not so good. But, I mean, you know, I'm not judging. Just saying, like, you know, it's not a, it's a manipulative energy, possibly. So, um, interesting. Next card we have is Unicorn. Innocence, trust, and honesty. All right. So, what do we need to know about the Unicorn? What do you need to trust and be honest with? Maybe yourself. Um, maybe being authentic, I feel like, for some of you. Um, in this connection or with yourselves. So it says, this card is reminding you to be honest with yourself and others. <laughs> okay, yep. Check in to see if your intentions are pure and your decisions are for the highest good and of all concerned. The unicorn is a magical creature who emanates innocence, tr trust, and integrity. The combined energy of both the elemental and the spiritual worlds. The unicorn's horn is known to be a pure essence with the ability to help you heal. This card reminds you to trust the flow of your journey right now. Keep a balance between bucking convention and yielding to it freely. And it says, honor and respect others, yourself, and the earth. You can neutralize the poison of gossip through honesty. You have the ability to help others heal themselves. Try to see the innocence in the people around you. Yeah, you have the ability to, to heal others. Hold on just a second. Let my dog in. All right, so you have the ability to heal others, but they want you to be honest with yourself and with everyone around you and to trust in the innocence of love, trust in in others that they have your well best best your best interest at heart. Okay, guys. So that's really beautiful energy. I really like that. Um and try to see the innocence in the people around you, you know, as well, to kind of tap into that energy. All right, next card is action. Yeah, so you may be taking some action. What are we taking action towards? Okay, we got the Ten of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, you're being told to, or you're you're going to do this or have already done it, taking some action um, that has brought you to this Ten of Wands. So you're just overly stressed. This is taking on too many responsibilities, too many burdens. Could be another person and just the way that they treat you. Um, and it's like this bird is overwhelmed and cannot, you know, we go from the 10, that's the end of a cycle. That needs to end, put down the burdens, lay down what you can, maybe get to the five or the seven, whatever you need to, to kind of balance things out a little bit more, even though it's not a balanced number um, specifically, but go to the six with victory. So, um, <clears throat> it's kind of mastering this. It's almost like feeling like you have, you have just fallen from the sky because they're just weighing you down. Okay. So you just may need to take some action towards kind of remedying this. Okay. Um, or someone has taken some type of action that has overburdened you. Okay. Interesting. Next card we have is great passion with the tulip. Okay. Um, no, oh, I love tulips. It's my favorite flower. Okay, so um, there's some type of passion that you have here. Um, again, there's this Don Juan saying you may be very passionate about someone. Maybe your twin here. Okay. Um, but you, there's somewhere in here you're feeling burdened by something, a connection or someone or something. Okay, twin flame message we have is you are an angel. Oh, that's sweet. So you want to tell your twin that they're an angel. Okay, next card we have is child um, orphan. Light attributes, independence based on learning to go it alone, conquering fear of surviving. Yeah. So this is a this is the light energy. This is good energy here. So for some of you, um, you're learning to let go of things that no longer serve you. You're also learning to go it alone, um, kind of along your own path. Uh, you may just be kind of um, doing your own thing right now, and that's beautiful because 
you're also conquering a fear of surviving. So it's almost like you're slowly getting some ideas about your financial status or where you want to be or survival and kind of putting those into motion um, and maybe conquering that fear of having so little. Um, and you know that that doesn't manifest what we want when we're, when we think of things in a lack. So, um, changing that. So that's beautiful. You guys really loving this access, all information and knowledge available. Remember past lives as needed, improve clarity during meditation experiences, stay centered, maintain a quiet mind. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like I, I know the Gemini's, I know that they're definitely into research. They will go look something up. They will go all in. They like to know things about, you know, the things that interest them. They really like to research. They may like to read or, um, you know, do any type of viewing on it. So watching movies, reading books, newspapers, articles, etc. So, um, it talks about improving the, your clarity during meditation experiences staying centered and maintaining a quiet mind. So that might be something that you, you're you having a, um, a hard time with. It could also be why that Ten of Wands is here. So you can do that with Apophyllite. Oh, that's pretty. Never seen that before. I think it's a crystal. It looks like it. It looks very similar to Amethyst, but green or greener. It says, I meditate regularly. I am insightful. My connection with universal wisdom guides me daily. So you guys can get this stone if, if you're looking. You have a lot of green going on here, guys. So... Green's really relevant to you. Um, we had green um, in the Libra reading as well. Like it started from the top and it was very green uh, stones and energy in the cards. So yeah, that might be um, Malachite and Ap Apophyllite um, are ones that you'll probably want to get. Next card is Snake. Rebirth, release, and integration. Okay. All right. And this is from the Angel Dreams Oracle Cards Guidebook. Let's see what this is. See what this is all about. See what's going on with the snake. Now, when we think about snakes, we always think about a snake in the water, you know, someone untrustworthy. Let's see what they have to say. The snake heralds a time of transition during which you will go through the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Enjoy this shedding of the old while stepping into your power. The snake's wisdom may lead you to ask yourself many questions. What project or relationship do you need to begin? What do you need to shed, release, or uncover in order to bring about new opportunities? What do you need to bring back into your life? The snake represents rebirth in all forms. It symbolizes hidden teachings or information, as well as the integration of physical and spiritual form. The double snake, or caduceus, is the emissary of transcendence, a balance between your physical and spiritual energies. Open your awareness to the spiraling dance of cosmic forces. Study the hidden knowledge that has been beckoning you. Study and work with divine magic. Don't be afraid of your personal power. It is a gift of healing and rebirth. Again, you have healing twice. So Gemini, whoever I'm channeling here, you have the ability to heal yourself. You have the ability to heal others, um, situations. But it says don't be afraid of your personal power. It is a gift to you. And they want you to study divine magic, okay, to get. That's probably where you're kind of looking into is like what, um, what if you're looking for a path, that's part of your journey, guys. So that's interesting. And we have metamorphosis reversed, okay? But it looks like you may be resisting this change, okay? And it may be that you have a lot of transitions to go through. Like this talks about um, death, rebirth, etc. So it's possible that you've got to go through this change, okay? For some of you, you may be resisting this change uh, because it, it may feel uncomfortable for you. So... Again, doing research and trying to become knowledgeable about it will help. Okay, and we have the Six of Swords reversed. So yeah, you're resisting some type of change. Like it's time to move on. It's time to move forward, okay? So this is the Six of Swords reversed. And upright, this we see a man in a boat and swords. And he's moving on. He's taking some with him. I think some are behind, just kind of like this. I think he, or all of them are behind. I can't remember in the traditional. And this one, he's given up the fight. All of the swords are sitting on the dock and he's moved on when it's upright, but it is reverse guys. So I feel like again, resisting change, resisting this movement that needs to take place into the metaphysical world. So you're being called to take some action there and to transform and transition, but that is uncomfortable. And I totally understand why somebody may be resisting that change. Uh, uh, uh. 
attacks, excuse me, forces working against you. And maybe again, it's because of this, okay? There may be some forces working against you to keep you from moving forward or for, to keep you from transitioning it at this time. Could be a person. Twin flame message. I've never forgotten you even though you think I have. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, so you're a twin. They have not forgotten you. Or you haven't forgotten them. That's what you want to tell them pretty much. So seeker is the next card that's reversed. Inability to commit to a path when once found. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of, you may be a little scattered, Gemini. And um, I know that sometimes you can get like that. And that's just from, you know, friends and family and whatnot. Um, like you may be unwilling to kind of figure out what path you're trying to take and or not unwilling, but something maybe even preventing you from doing this. Um, or you just, there's too many things. You have too many, um, too many irons in the fire. Okay. This is what I feel like for some of you, maybe overwhelmed, um, and multitasking, maybe breaking, breaking down currently or the ability to choose a path. Okay. And stick with it. Okay. All right. Next card is integrate and accept change. Align with the cycles of life, improve mental alertness focus on the present moment. Listen, that goes right along with the six of swords reversed. Okay. Or was it the five? Six. Sorry. Yeah. It goes right along with that because you're resisting some type of change here, guys, or the change can't happen and it needs to happen. Okay. It says, I accept the impermanence of all things. I know that change brings renewal and goodness. And this is Frenite. You can get that as well. I'm not sure. Etsy, maybe Amazon, um, or try the metaphysical store. I've never seen phrenite, apophyllite there. Pot, I've seen malachite there, but not the other. So, all right. Ooh, next card is stairs, direction and timing. Yeah, so they want you to get on this path, okay? And I guess it may have to do with direction and timing. So for some of you, the divine timing wasn't, wasn't right um, in the past. Um, and maybe there are forces working against you that were keeping you from moving forward, okay? But now it's the time. They're saying, okay, now moving into this future energy, direction and timing is going to align for you to go ahead and start on this path. And I believe that you're going to finally see it and start going that way if you haven't already. So very beautiful. Mm -hmm. But you may be numbing, okay? Okay, so you may be doing some things to kind of numb yourself, to numb the connection, to numb... Um, Numb the pain, you know, could be drinking, could be drugs, could just be, um, some people cut themselves. I'm not trying to be horrific or anything, but you know, those, that type of energy I'm feeling like, um, but that's not always numbing, but it's also, um, a part of like not wanting to feel like you may not want to feel this process or you may not, you may be numb to the fact that you need to, to make some changes. Um, and you may not, you may literally have just been overwhelmed and then you shut down. So you're like fight or flight isn't even like on. You're just like frozen. Like, oh my gosh, here's where I need to take some action. I know I need to take it. The wands are slipping. <laughs> I'm falling from the sky and then you're not doing anything, but you're just like standing there. So I feel the energy here frozen guys. Yeah, but they want you to move on. Okay. They need you to move on. Um, could have been dealing with a cancer, um, or, you know, that is relevant here. Cancer is relevant. So they want you to move forward, okay? And maybe moving, you know, moving on from this situation, okay? Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross, okay? Could be this um, cancer um, energy here. Could be male or female um, energy. This is a male on the card, but it could be either one. So I would be careful of that person. Um, they may be born in the year of the rooster as well, so that might help you identify who they are if you're wondering, um, but definitely have cancer in their chart or they are cancerian, um, but they want you to move away from, move away from this. They want you to get away from that, um, and start your journey, okay, because there's something very important they're trying to call you towards, and again, that could be the twin flame journey here, but a twin flame journey is a spiritual journey nonetheless, <laughs> all right. Next twin flame message. I've thought a lot about you lately. Nice. So you've been thinking about your twin. It's beautiful. All right, let's do some clarifying here and see what's going on with all these cards. All right, why do we have the Hierophant reverse? Remember we talked about that it had to do with commitment, spirituality, um, marriage for some of you. Could be a divorce. 
Okay, let's see. Why is the hero thing here? Okay. Yeah, it all comes back to this Cancerian energy here in the chariot. Okay, so we've got justice reversed, the chariot, and the ace of wands reversed. Okay, so you may have gotten a divorce from a Cancerian or somebody that has cancer in their chart. Okay. And what I'm feeling like for most of you is you feel like it was an injustice with this person and that you weren't able to create the beautiful, passionate, stable, new beginning that you were trying to um, get to with this person. So it's almost like a lack of victory is huge here, guys. Um, but if you were not married to this person or that doesn't make sense to you, Another message that I'm receiving here is you feel like there's been an injustice and something couldn't have been created. It could be in this twin flame connection. It doesn't have to be. It could be someone else, but you're, you're desperately trying to move on from it. Okay. I feel like with this chariot energy, like you're really trying to get away from it. Okay. You're trying to get away from it. It's like in the middle of this. It's like, it's almost like you got the Libra card here could be dealing with a Libra with this injustice reverse. Then you got, that's why I say watch the Libra video. Then you got the chariot here trying to move on from this injustice. But here you're like, there's this, you know, trying to start something passionate and new or uh, rekindle the fire with this. It's just not happening. Okay. And you want out. Like, I feel like you just want out. Like you want to get the hell out um, from this situation and move on because the chariot is all about movement. All right. Okay. Wow. This is very interesting. Okay. Let's see here. We have the 10 of wands. Let's see what, what's going on here. All right. What do we have the 10 of wands here? Okay. They want to talk in threes today. I'm going to take it because, um, it is making sense and there are some repeating cards. Okay. So the 10 of wands here. Okay. You have the High Priestess, could be dealing with Pisces or another Cancer, Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so the High Priestess is here to kind of nudge, your, nudge you. Um, it is your intuition. So it's like pay attention to your intuition when it comes to um, a commitment, okay? Or when it comes to spiritual enlightenment, okay? They either want you to wake up to this con to this twin flame connection, to this journey, to this new path, okay? Or they want you to, again, listen to your intuition about something, okay? Listen to your intuition about um, someone you were committed to or whether you... It's almost like I feel like this person doesn't know if they want to commit um, because they may be confused or have a lot of options with that seven of cups. So it's very possible, Gemini, that um, you may be kind of trying to listen to your intuition um, about a commitment. Um, either one, either you or the other person has uh, a lot of options, and that may stress you out because the Ten of Wands is all about being overburdened, okay? Um, it could also be that um, you're trying to listen to your intuition about a commitment, but it's confusing. So maybe you're confused about it. Maybe you're confused about it. Maybe it's causing you a lot of stress here. Um, but I do see some great passion at the bottom there, guys. So someone's, someone's got some passion for someone else. I do feel like this Hierophant um, and the High Priestess are actually because they're, they're basically the High Priest and High Priest. It's a High Priest and High Priestess um, in other, um, I can't remember what the folklore is. But it's almost like they want a relationship with each other. So, um, but maybe it's it's confusing and that's causing a little bit of bur a burden. Um, and uh, or one or both of you has options, um, or it's like trying to figure out like what you know is going to emotionally fulfill the, these two people. Because I feel like the high priestess and the hero fan are like a couple. Okay, so it could be Taurus. Um, Taurus with the Hierophant, Pisces, Cancer with, um, I see more of the High Priestesses, Pisces. I'm always going to see that, though. That's personal. That's my personal um, feeling on the card. Um, so it's almost like, and it's possible that you needed to listen to your intuition about a commitment and look in other places, but you're kind of confused as to what to do, where to go, what to pick, what cup to look into. Um, as well, because we've also got this resistance to moving on and change or something. Either someone's preventing you from moving on or there's something that's keeping you stuck um, that's internal. 
Okay, so why do we have the six? Not yet. Why do we have the six of swords reversed? The devil reversed. Okay. Okay, so I feel like you may be resisting um, and holding on to the past because um, it's almost like Sorry, I'm getting all the information I possibly can. It's almost like with the devil, you have, could be dealing with the Scorpio. Or, sorry, not Scorpio. Devil. Capricorn, sorry. Um, but, yeah, it could be dealing with the Scorpio, too, somewhere. I don't see it yet, but it could be dealing with the Scorpio. Uh, feeling like for the devil that um, it's almost like it's recovery. It's like they want you to move forward. They're wanting you to move forward. They're wanting you to go through some type of metamorphosis because it will help you release these demons, okay? I feel like this devil card, reverse, is always talking about recovery. Um, when it's upright, it talks about codependency. It talks about being attached to someone um, in a very sexual and a very um, manipulative manner as well. But it's almost like when it's reverse, it's kind of getting you it's kind of like giving the devil a wake-up call. It's like, yeah, it's kind of releasing these bad patterns. Like, it's almost like in order for you to move on, I feel like there's a few things that you have to kind of get over. Um, and this is not normally a healing card, but I do feel like with the metamorphosis, there's some type of, and the unicorn, some type of healing that has to take place, um, some type of recovery uh, from the breakup of this relationship, if that's what's happening for you. Um, and kind of an ability to move on, maybe because stuck in that devil mindset or that person keeps trying to draw you in to their lair is what I'm seeing here and then just punish you. <laughs> it's just weird, but that's what I'm getting. It's a very odd message, a very conflicting message. It's almost like you know what you need to do. You just haven't done it. Okay, why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? The world, yeah. Starting a new cycle. Going into a new cycle, a new karmic cycle. Somebody may live at a distance from you. You may have to travel to them or they may have to travel to you. Especially when we're talking about the chariot. So it's like starting this brand new um, this brand new relationship or this brand new cycle in your life, okay? Um, and they want you to move forward and do this. Exactly with this chariot here, okay? And they're wanting you to move forward. Interesting. Wow, you guys. All right, let's see. I'm still kind of stumped on that devil card reverse because, you know, I do feel like somebody keeps trying to trap you. Like you're moving on or you're, there's forces working against you and it may be this devil energy or somebody with Capricorn in their, in their chart. Um, they may be a sun, Cap, sun is in Capricorn, so... But yeah, keep an eye out for that because I do feel like there's something trying to work against you in order for you to move forward. I feel like such resistance here, like you're just trying to resist it as, as much as possible. So either resisting the change or, or somebody, you're resisting somebody trying to pull you back, you know, and try to hold you back, okay? All right, we have your fortune card. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. Okay, totally different deck. Shuffle them totally separate. Don't look at anything, you guys. You have Chariot again, okay? So they want you to move forward. Excuse me. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. Good job, okay? So yes, absolutely. So for those of you that are in that energy, keep moving forward. You're on the right path. You're going to be starting over something new, something fresh, okay? And you're going to have to transform. Your energy is going to be metamorphosizing. So... Congratulations. Um, I'm loving that. Well, let's see what's going on with your twin on the other side. So I'll see you over there for your twin side of the video. And um, if I don't see you over there, I will see you for your April videos. Take care.